Hard and easy are complementary. Long and short are relative. Before and after our sequence. Five minutes. Hard and easy are complementary. Long and short are relative. Before and after are sequence. Damned spot out, I say. One, two. Why then, tis time to do it. Hell is murky. Fie, my lord, fie. A soldier and a feared. What need we fear who knows it when none can call our power to account? Yet who would have thought the old man to have had so much blood in him? Thane of Fife had a wife. Where is she now? What will these hands ne'er be clean? No more of that, no more, no more of that, my lord, no more of that. You mar all with this starting. Here's the smell of blood still. All the perfumes of Arabia will not sweeten this little hand. Oh! What a sigh is there. The heart is sorely charged. I would not have such a heart in my bosom for all the dignity of the body. This disease is beyond my practice. Yet I have known those which have walked in their sleep and died holily in their beds. Wash your hands. Put on your nightgown. Look not so pale. I tell you again, Banquo's dead. She cannot come out on his grave. <sighs> to bed. To bed. <gasps> They're knocking at the gate. Come, 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 give me your hand. What's done cannot be undone. To bed. To bed. To bed. What's done cannot be undone. What's done cannot be undone. What's done cannot be undone. What's that cannot be undone? What's done cannot be undone? Wash your hands, put on your nightgown that not so pale. Wash your hands, put on your nightgown that not so pale.
Wash your hands, put on your nightgown, look not so pale. Wash your hands, put on your nightgown, look not so pale. Wash your... <laughs> no matter how many times you say it, nothing's gonna change. I'm still dead. How long have you been lurking there? I'm Bampo. I don't lurk. I haunt. He was watching you from the wings every time you went out there. He's the director. He was watching all of us. Well, he was looking at us. He was watching you. Get thee gone, nettlesome spirit. You are fantastic. Thank you. Wash your hands, put on your nightgown. Look not so pale. Wash your hands, put on your nightgown, look not so pale. Wash your hands, put on your nightgown, look not so p There's my star. Hey, you. Hey, yourself. So? Um, well, you know me and Shakespeare. You hated it. You didn't let me finish. You were terrific. Even if I couldn't understand half of what you were saying, Man, you own the stage. The audience loved you. Really? Yeah, really. The Thane of Fife had a wife, and she was in a play. She was great. It was her fate to be a star someday. <laughs> Come on up. Check out the view. I know my days on stage are long over. It's all yours, babe. I was good. Oh, you're great. Time to celebrate. Uh, I don't know about this, Sarah. I mean, it's, it's your crowd. It's your night. My crowd is your crowd, and my night is your night. Besides, they'll love you. What makes you say that? What do I say if someone asks me what I do? It's just a temporary job, Sam. I don't think three years is temporary anymore. You remember the first gig I had? Handing out flyers for Reggie's chippy truck in that Fiona fish suit? Bingo. Yeah. <laughs> and look at me now. Owning the stage is the best ever, Lady M. Well, I don't recall saying you were the best ever, but... <laughs> You were thinking it. Mm -mm. Come on, admit it. Okay. Okay, you win. Just promise me you won't leave me alone in there. Scout's honor. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Of course you do. So you keep telling me. <laughs> A 
10 spot says you can't make it all the way through. Double it and you're on. <laughs> Done. <clears throat> Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where is the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where is the peck of pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked. <laughs> well done. Okay. Pay up with fluff. <laughs> okay. Scouts on my ass. Okay, so what are the rules again? You pick a movie, give me clues, and I try to guess it, and then I do the same for you. The person who guesses it right with the fewest clues wins, and the loser buys everyone around. Let's make it two rounds. Mmm, double or nothing. Oh, I see. This is some plot that you've cooked up with these two. If I win, we'll go for the champagne. But if he wins, go for a glass of water. <laughs> uh, collusion. I knew it. But I shall accept your challenge fairly. On one condition, no movies. That's for the hoi polloi. We shall duel in the theater. The play is the thing. Would you like to go first, or shall I? Age before beauty. <laughs> oh, how you wound me. But now I shall exact my revenge. Oh, to paraphrase the bard in Julius Caesar, bring it on. You look lost. Uh, no, not lost. Just misplaced. <laughs> that happens to the better halves all the time at these things. Yeah, well, she promised it wasn't gonna happen to me. It's her loss. <laughs> I'm Jordan. Hi, uh, Sam. Uh, my friends call me Sam. That's cute. Uh, well, it looks like they're having fun. Oh, they always do when Peter Morgan's in charge. Peter, Peter, the pumpkin eater. Every play, he finds a different pumpkin. Were you in the play? I was, um, as a nurse. Oh, it's, the. Uh, Scene where Lady M just goes off the rails. Oh, yeah. Um, I didn't recognize you out of that uh, costume yeah. that you're wearing. <laughs> Looks can uh, be deceiving. Yeah. Well, I thought you were good. Oh, for what it's worth. Too good for such a small role. Thanks. That's what I keep telling them. Sorry. Sorry times infinity, the biggest sorry ever in the history of the entire world. So you're saying you're sorry? Yes. 
Really sorry. Really? Yeah, well, you should be. I'm calling from Leviathan Collection Services. Uh, yeah, we really need to get this cleared. Hello? Oh, Sarah, isn't it? <laughs> uh, sorry, didn't mean to startle you. I didn't realize anyone else was still in the office. Uh, just me. Sam? Uh, my friends call me... Sam? <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> Why don't you ever come out with, um, any of us for lunch? No one ever asked me. <clears throat> and if someone did ask you out for lunch, or, uh, something, depends on the someone. The raven himself is horse that croaks the fatal entrance of Duncan under my battlements. Come, you spirits that tend on mortal thoughts, unsex me here and fill me from the crown of to the toe top full of direst cruelty. Make thick my blood. Stop up the access and passage to remorse that no compunctious visitings of nature shake my fell purpose, nor keep peace between the effect and it. Come to my woman's breasts and take my milk for gall, you murdering ministers, wherever in your sightless substances you wait on nature's mischief. Come, thick night, and pal thee in the dunnest smoke of hell, that my keen knife see not the wound it makes, nor heaven peep through the blanket of the dark to cry, Hold! Hold. Yes! <laughs> Bravo, Sarah. Bravo. Isn't this how every teens at the summer camp horror movie starts? I know what you did last summer, Banquo. Yeah, I was murdered, you idiot. Stabbed in the back by my best friend. Uh, I think technically you <laughs> hired a couple henchmen to do the deed. Well, that just means that you're gonna be the villain who comes back to wreak vengeance on us all. Well, that sounds good to me. Well, that settles that. Hmm. It's the Scottish play, I tell you. This would have never happened if we'd done As You Like It or A Midsummer Night's Dream. What about Coriolanus? Hmm. Nobody does Coriolanus. There's always some idiot in the audience who laughs every time one of the actors says the name. Hmm. 
Anyway, we're done for the night. Power's cooked in half the city. It could take hours for them to get it fixed. Yeah. You... You wanna... Sure. Or so a couple. Shut up. Behave. Not a chance. You were fantastic. You really brought something new, dynamic. Something I have never seen in a Lady M before. I was trying out a few new things during the break, pushing the boundaries like you suggested. I'm glad you liked it. Liked it? You blew me away. I am just gonna sit in the audience tomorrow night and watch as their jaws drop. You were transcendent, my dear. Oh, I thank you, good sir. The Thane of Fife had a wife, and she was in a play. She was great. It was her fate to be a star someday. Listen, it's still early. Why don't we head back to my place? Unwind, run a few lines, have a couple of drinks, and channel the spirit of the bard. Thanks, Peter, but... I've barely seen Sam in a month, and Then I what difference will one more night make? Sarah... Is someone like him what someone like you needs? I'm flattered, Peter. Really, I am, but... Sam and I have been together a long time. Familiarity breeds contempt, not love. I can't. I understand. I really do. You gotta do what you think is right for you. But you have so much beauty and grace and intelligence and talent. Please, don't hold it against me for being attracted to you. Good night. Maybe you should call a cab. Thanks. Will do. See you tomorrow. Sarah? Hey, you. Hey. What are you doing home? The power blew at the theater, a lightning strike, if you can believe it. 
Uh-huh. So rehearsal was cancelled. Uh-huh. Um... Hey. What's up? You may not know much about Shakespeare, but it makes for a wonderful sticking place, doesn't he? Sarah. How? How could you? You weren't supposed to be here. That's it? That's all you have to say for yourself? with someone else. That, in our bed, and all you can say is that I wasn't supposed to be here? Don't touch me. Touch your precious Peter. What? What? You think I wasn't gonna figure it out? Sam, I don't know what you think's been going on, but I've never. Really fucking stupid. You know, the least you could do was try a little harder. You know, put a bit of that best ever Lady M into your life. Just give me that, huh? Just, just prove to me that I'm worth lying to with some passion. Just admit it. You're screwing him. What? No! How can you be so cruel? No. You've got the market cornered on cruel. The problem is, you're so selfish, you don't even realize it. I never cheated on you, Sam. Betrayal comes in all kinds of boxes, Sarah. At least you got to open mine. Yeah, that's right. Go back to love a boy. I'm not going to anyone, Sam. I'm getting away from you. I cannot believe you have a house so near the ocean. It is so beautiful. How can you afford it? My mom left it to me. Do you spend a lot of time here? When I have to.
he's an idiot. It takes two to tango, Jules. Yeah, and I think we both know what Jordan is. I wasn't talking about her. It'll all work out. You'll see. These things always do. They just take some time. Yeah. Time. Thanks again for driving me out here. I really appreciate it. Hey, that's what friends are for. And besides, with the show and its break, I've got a lot of spare time on my hands. <laughs> tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow <laughs> creeps in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time. <laughs> and all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. Life is but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury. Signifying? Nothing. Oh. My God, it really is a depressing play, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. It really is beautiful here. It's so peaceful. <laughs> I wish I could stay longer. You're welcome to. There's plenty of room. Yeah, I can see that. Did you ever think about moving out here like full time? Sam and I... He needed to be near work. What are you gonna do? Honestly, I don't know. Well, do you still love him? Yeah. And I hate him. And I hate myself for loving him and for hating him. And for not loving him enough and for not hating him enough and for not having any fucking clue what to do now. If the acting doesn't work out, at least you can come here and set up a bed and breakfast. And you can call it Sarah's Secluded Slumberland. <laughs> Can't see that happening. Okay, then, um, how about the Scottish stay? Not a chance. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. But if you do do that and you need some help, then you know where to find me, okay? I will keep that in mind. <laughs> Are you sure you can't stay? I have two cats to feed and a student short film audition to prep for. For that is the glamorous life of a rising young star at the stage and screen. At least that's what I tell my parents. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me a call if you need anything, if you wanna talk or if you wanna listen to the cats or... <laughs> I will. Remember anything. I love you.
do you not hope your children shall be kings, when those that gave the thane of Cordor to me promise no less to them? That trusted home might yet enkindle you unto the crown, besides the thane of Cordor. But tis strange, strange. and oftentimes to, to win us to our harm, the instruments of darkness tell us truths, win us with honest trifles, to betray us in deepest consequence. Yeah. Hey. Um. Sorry to interrupt. That's not what you should be sorry about. Yeah, I know. Do you really? Yeah, I fucked up. Yeah, no shit. Is she okay? <laughs> what do you think? I keep calling her, but then she won't answer. Do you blame her, Sam? Is she staying with you? Why would I tell you? I just want to... What? Make it right? doing this for you. As you can see, they really uh, pack them in here on a Wednesday. Ah, <laughs> uh, Wednesdays. The most overlooked and misunderstood day of the week. <laughs> sort of like a middle child with a really smart older brother and a cute as a button little sister just trying to figure out where it fits in. Okay, so what day are you? Wednesday. Without the siblings. Uh, how is everything? Uh, yes, it's great, man. Thanks. Uh, if I can help you guys in any way, uh, just let me know. Um, tell me you don't actually work during lunch. God, no. Okay, so what do you do to amuse yourself for an hour? I study. Okay. okay. So you're in school? Part-time. What do you take? Theater. <laughs> what? That's, it's, that's fantastic. My parents think, thought it was a waste of time. They wanted me to do something more practical. <laughs> practical is overrated. I have got a double honors degree in history and economics, and look where it got me. Samuel Cameron, at your service, a mouse in the giant transnational corporate maze of the 21st century, trying to make his way to the piece of cheese. And then on to a slightly bigger maze with a slightly bigger piece of cheese. Sounds amazing. Oh, no. <laughs> well, then, Samuel Cameron. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite novel? Oh, okay. That's a bit of a non sequitur, isn't it? I'm the queen of non sequiturs, and this is my realm, good sir. Indulge me. Well, 
The first date answer that they teach us at guy school is to always go with Wuthering Heights. Well, because no woman can resist a man who's actually read Wuthering Heights. So, Wuthering Heights. <laughs> um. So you're a romantic then? Uh, depends. On the someone. Um, I'll be right back. spot. Thought you were lost years ago. Fly, seraphs, to your own eternal shore, where winds nor howl nor waters roar. Our portion is to die and yours to live forever. But which is best, a dead eternity or living, is but known to the great giver. Well, I'll take that as a standing ovation. Don't know the secrets of life and death Don't know what happens after our last breath Don't know the secrets of the pyramids Don't know where the golden treasure is hid I just know that I'm here I just know that you're here
Isn't he cute? Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for my old bandmate, oh. Sam Cameron. Come on. You are welcome here anytime, my friend. She's actually pretty, uh, try not to fuck this one. <laughs> All right. That was beautiful. Oh. Oh, it's just a song I wrote a lifetime ago. I guess it was just waiting for the right girl. Hard and easy are complimentary. Long and short are relative.
before and after our sequence. Sarah?
my star. Sarah? Hey, hey, you've been crying. Sarah. Yeah, I'm still crying. Why, why? What happened? I blew the audition. What? What do you mean? Yeah, as in Mayan prophecy, end of the world, apocalyptically bad, blew it. Okay, what happened? Am I kidding myself? Why am I even doing this anymore? <laughs> okay, look at me. Repeat after me, okay? I. I. Am. Am. A great actor. I'm really not something. Come on. Sarah. Come thick night and pal thee in the dunnest smoke of hell and my keen knife see not the wound it makes, nor heaven peep through the blanket of the dark to cry hold. Hold. I forgot to mention, there was a call earlier. Some guy named Peter. Peter? Yeah. Uh, wanted to talk to you about the audition. Um, said that, you know, he liked what you did in the room and that they want to offer you Lady M. Are you kidding me? No. Really? Yeah. Oh my, god, oh my god! I got it. I got it! Ah! I got it. Like I said, you're a great actor. I'm sorry about before. All's well that ends well. And here I thought you hated Shakespeare. Shakespeare said that. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> mm.
Hey. I made breakfast. I'm um, <clears throat> trying to skip a rock. Just one single rock. Shouldn't be that hard, should it? You know, a five-year-old can do it. Yeah, not a single one. What are you doing? Sarah. Be one with the rock. What? You need to focus to become one with the rock and the ocean. Feel the flow. Are you kidding? I. I... I don't know if you're kidding. Do you want the rock to skip or don't you? Arms and friend. Now close your eyes and breathe deeply and slowly. In, out, in, out. Don't just take a breath, Sam. Breathe. Good. Now repeat after me. Hard and easy or complimentary? Hard and easy or complimentary? Long and short or relative? Long and short or relative? Before and after are a sequence. Before and after are a sequence. Now, get ready to throw the rock, but don't open your eyes until after you let it go. Keep breathing. The way is a void, used but never filled. An abyss it is like an ancestor from which all things come. It blunts sharpness, resolves tangles. It tempers light and subdues turmoil. A deep pool it is, never to run dry, whose offspring it may be, I do not know. It is like a preface to God. Now. So, um, when did you become a Zen master? Remember Elizabeth from the play? Older woman, really sweet. She reminds me of mom. She played the doctor. Uh, yeah, vaguely, I guess. I mean, you know me and Shakespeare. Uh, I was more focused on you. Anyway, it's... What she'd do before every rehearsal. She'd just sit in a corner by herself. She didn't do all of the other stuff actors do to get ready. Uh -huh. Just that. That's a little weird. Exactly. So one night I asked her why. I always thought she was zoning out when really she was zoning in. She had a lot of great advice. 
things I'd never thought of before. Not just about the show or acting, but life in general. So I thought I'd give it a try. And well, it worked. Are you expect anyone? No. Hi there. Is, then, the world unkind? And does it treat all things like straw dogs used in magic rites? The wise man, too, is he unkind? Does he treat the folk like straw dogs made to throw away? Between the earth and sky, the space is like a bellows, empty but unspent. When moved, its gift is copious. I can play the Lao Tzu quote game, too. <sighs> I'm impressed. I couldn't care less. What do you want from me? I just want to understand you. After all, we've shared so much. You can leave anytime. Here's the thing I haven't been able to figure out. It wasn't just the sex. I could see getting over that eventually. Men will be men after all. But he betrayed you here. And you still trust him. What kind of woman does that? This isn't real. If I were you, I'd start looking out for yourself. <gasps> She's not unreasonable, Sarah. You can do a deal with her. She can offer you a way out. And all you have to do is take it. 
when the time comes. Get away from me! I'm not the bad guy here. It doesn't have to end, Sarah. Not for you. I did the best I could under the circumstances. Ooh, easy, you've taken quite a blow. How long have I been here? Ah, well, that depends on your point of view. You see time like this piece of paper, flat, with edges, and defined parameters. Past, present, and the future from one edge of the paper to the other with a distance that is clear. But what if we could bridge the gaps? What if there were no gaps at all? An eternal now where what once was may not be what is or what will be. Does that answer your question? I have no idea what you're talking about. Proper thing. I have to get to Sarah. Close your eyes, and the path will be made clear. You lied to her. It's what I do. You should know that better than anyone. All the world's a stage. Sam and Sarah and people like them, they're the real stars. The writers, the directors. I'm just the producer. But you, you're just a bit player. Playing the same role time after time after time.
out of here now, okay? Okay. Okay, let's go. Every production comes to an end sometime. And today's bit player becomes tomorrow's star. Well, hasn't this been fun? Tell you the story of the pilot from World War II that jumped out of a plane? A uh, fighter, I think it was. No. His parachute was defective, and when he went to pull the ripcord, it just all fell apart. Tough break. I suppose he prayed as he tumbled to the ground. Now you'd think so, but no. He just thought, well, the bad news is that I'm falling through the sky from 10,000 feet without a parachute. Then he closed his eyes and he thought, but the good news is there's no ground. Don't yeah. do it. Trust me. What have you done? Had a chat. Told a story. That's what I do. One, two. Why then, tis time to do it. Hell is murky. Fie, my lord, fie, so dear and feared. What needs we fear who knows it when none can call our power to account? Yet who would have thought the old man to have had so much blood in him? What will these hands ne'er be clean? No more of that, my lord, no more of that. You mar all with this starting. Go to. Go to. You have known what you should not. Wash your hands. Put on your nightgown. Look not so pale. <laughs> <laughs> 
I tell you again, Banquo's dead. She cannot come out on his grave. <laughs> Right. Well, I think we're done for the day. You were wonderful, dear. Wonderful. Thank you. I've been trying out a few new things during the break. Pushing the boundaries like you suggested. Did you like it? Liked? You blew me away. Tomorrow night, when we reopen, I'm gonna sit back and watch everyone's faces as their jaws drop. You were transcendent. Peter. No! How could you? You ruined everything! Sarah. Everything. Look at me. I'm here. Hey, Ho uh, Romeo, we're uh, we're working here. You should have your name in lights. Okay, everywhere. Every night until the end of time. Need my name in lights. So long as I be. Always. Always. Sarah! This is your home.
Don't know the secrets of life and death Don't know what happens after our last breath Don't know the secrets of the pyramids Don't know where the golden treasure is hid I just know that I'm here I just know that you're here I don't know about tomorrow All I know is that I'm crazy for you Crazy for you Are any of us really free? I don't know, it's a mystery to me Don't know how to stop the hate and the war Don't know why we have them both for I just know that you're here I just know that I'm here